with lack of posterior wall integrity, there's a good salvage technique to allow fixation to 1200 newtons force on the femoral side. We've created our tibial tunnel here, and we've created our femoral tunnel here, but for some reason the surgeon blows out the posterior wall. This is a salvage technique using the tibial exo shape for fixation on the femoral side and tibial side as well. So what the surgeon should do is switch my scope to the anterior medial portal. This allows me to visualize the femoral tunnel. Then I insert the tibial drill guide about 10 millimeters up into the tunnel. So I want to come in from the lateral side of the knee. I want to be about a centimeter off of the articular cartilage cortical margin. The idea is to create a tunnel that enters this tunnel and then fixate the graft within that tunnel which is perpendicular to this tunnel. And I want to make sure I'm coming down from more superior to create my 30 millimeter tunnel. So we've placed our guide pin and then I'm simply going to ream over the guide pin that I've placed and then I ream the corner just a little bit to chamfer it because I have to make a 90 degree angle. So now I've created a tunnel that is a 90 degree angle to my original tunnel. So with my scope back in the anterior lateral portal, I stick a rasp up through the anterior medial portal and then I rasp and then I insert the pull suture through the tunnel here. can retrieve it out the tibial tunnel. And now I have a loop through both my tunnels. I can insert my graft in that loop, even out those ends. So we're pulling our graft into our tibial tunnel. We'll demonstrate fixing the femoral tunnel first. So we can see our graft at the entrance of the tunnel. I want to use my suture around the tensioning device so I can hold tension. And then I simply dilate my tunnels. So I've drilled a nine tunnel. I'm going to start with a seven. Going to five plus on the eight. And that's fairly good fixation, but I want a little bit better. So I'm going to go up to a nine. Two fingers, I can't twist it. Now, when this bullet goes into the implant, it'll deploy into a position that it compresses the soft tissue against the tunnel wall. I use this gun, I lock it down, and then I simply squeeze the trigger to deploy the bullet into the implant. Then I remove this. And then to remove this from the device, I simply twist in a counterclockwise direction. You can see the implant down in the femur. So on the tibial side, we take our graft, slide it in on the tensioner from the edge and wrap this around several times at different angles because I don't want this slipping at any point. I move the knee through a full range of motion through several cycles. This gets rid of my creep. And now I'm gonna go back to my dilators and I'm compressing the cancellous bone against the tunnel walls. We want to put this slightly deep to the cortex. This is the more distal portion and it's created at an angle. If I rotate this about 30 degrees and then insert between my bundles, then I'm going to get the right orientation of my bundles. Insert this just below the cortical bone. I want to go to a plus five and then I slide my bullet toward the implant and I put this into the dorsal slot on the gun and then I simply squeeze the trigger and this advances the bullet and deploys the sheath into a expanded shape. And then I remove the implant as I did on the femoral side. Incise the graft right at the entrance to the tunnel. And there's the implant. And I'll suture this closed over the entrance. So we've created a nice horizontal graft. You can see the triangle between the roof of the notch, the PCL and the ACL. And we've created a nice strong construct with interference fixation with a radial compression force despite blowing out our posterior wall.